In today's video, I want to talk about a specific route that you can utilize to absolutely destroy the defense over the top in Madden 21, and specifically out of a running set. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, what my YouTube channel does here is basically we upload four to five videos a day. Sometimes we get to five or six on the weekends, and we also live stream every single night. But our goal here is to share content with you that is actually beneficial and useful and practical that you can utilize, add into your schemes, and allow you to be more effective as a player in Men 21. Um, so if that's something that interests you, if you want to get better, I want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now in today's video, what we're talking about specifically is we're going to talk about a specific route um, that is really good from a passing formation, but it's actually even better from a running formation. And the reason it's better from a running formation is because oftentimes um, defenses will either put their safeties in purple zones or spy them and take away the deep coverage and if they take away the deep coverage this is going to allow this play to really get open and most of the time this play can't be uh, usered it has to be defended um, it basically has to be uh, defended with a with a with a deep blue zone most of the time the user can't really get to this because it's such a deep route at the snap of the ball they're not going to have time to be able to run back on this specific route and the route is basically a deep inverted post like you see here from pa wide receiver and this is in my opinion one of the better routes in madden 21 and what you want to do is you want to put your fastest guy over on that right side and then you want to put your um, whoever your second best guy is on this left side here so we're going to put uh, Duvernay in on here and we are going to come out in the play uh, PA wide receiver in and on defense we're gonna just come out in uh, nickel 335 wide formation and we are gonna be coming out in the cover two man because this is one of the meta defenses a lot of people are using this defensive scheme and so I just want to show you this so literally uh, all we're gonna do is we're gonna back the ball up you do need a little bit of space but once you've established that you're gonna run the ball uh, a lot what they're going to start doing is they're going to start um, they're going to start basically taking their safeties away. So what that looks like is they're either going to put them in purple zones, and they don't have to. Um, I can show you this route against just standard cover two um, as well here for just a second. But first, first, I just want to show you this route. You see this inverted? It's it's not um, it's not an S route, right? It's a it's a more of a skinnier version of that. Um, what I like to do with the tight end is I just like to pers I personally just like to block him. I like to leave the play action on, and I like to slide left and ID anyone that I think can come in on the left edge. So you see here, kind of got a decent pass protection scheme set up. I got a quick flat to the tight to the fullback in case my read is off and they're in zone coverage. I can work that um, flat route in combination with that in route coming back on that that dig route. These are, these three routes are really, really effective this year. So anyway, just going to show you this specific route. And you'll see here at the snap of the ball, all I'm going to do is just lob it over the top, pass leading up, and Marquise Brown is basically going to outrun Jair Alexander. One of the things that I made the mistake of on that specific play is I did not um, – I did not um, – continue holding straight on the pass and it caused the ball to die off so let me show you this one more time and what you'll see here and you see that he's going to be able to run underneath that as long as the safeties aren't there let me take let me take the safeties away so what most people are going to do is they're going to do something like this and they're going to spy both their safeties and they're going to use or this guy this is this is the run defense right this is this is the best run defense in the game this is what people are going to do and they're going to use or this guy to stop any run that you're going to run well you're going to run play action and you're going to slide your coverage and on and on and on so now oh everybody's crashed to the middle and now you're just going to throw it up over the top click on and you see here Marquise Brown is going to get a step on him. Now, this is going to work a little bit better if you have like an Aaron Rodgers or you have someone that can hit the deep ball a little bit better than Lamar. Um, they kind of hurt Lamar's deep ball stats, I think, in this game, honestly. But let me show you this real quick. Right when he cuts, just lob it up over the top. You see there it is right there. Click on. And it's a absolutely roasting the coverage for a one-play touchdown. This is very, very effective. The better the receiver, the better it's going to be. Obviously, Jair Alexander is a really, really good cornerback, and he has really, really good speed. Um, and so that's one thing that's kind of playing into effect here. But what you'll see is if they – let's say they run like purple zones because sometimes they'll run purple zones, um, and purple zones will basically 
cover uh, most of the tight end corner routes. They'll also do okay in the run game. But what you'll see here, just lob it up over the top, click on, and it's an absolute dot over the top. If they take the safeties away, this is going to work. Now, most of the time, it's actually going to work even if the safeties are in play. So I want to show you that as well. Um, and it actually works a little bit better against the shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top meta. Press coverage actually does better against this than, um, than um, not. But what you'll see here, oh, I got pressured. Um, you do need a little bit of time in the pocket. That's why the flat route is there. If they do blitz you heavy, um, you can just hit it, hit the quick flat, hit the quick flat. What you'll find is most people, especially with run defense this year, they're not going to guard the flats. I'm just finding that out um, as I run this a little bit more and more. But what you'll see here, drop back in the pocket. And Lamar got hit again. As long as he doesn't get it. Um, hit or get that under pressure or get that out of range and that's where i'm saying um you know you want to get you want to get decent um decent throw power on your guys part of this is also practice mode practice mode is notorious for having really really good block sheds um but you'll see here and i want to show you the shade coverage because uh, that's what their first initial response is going to be but right there pass lead it up and you see he's going to roast cover two man over the top so even if the safeties are deep He's going to beat it. That route beats everything deep. So too high is going to destroy it. Um, and then now what I want to do is I want to show you the shade coverage meta. So a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top, and they'll drop their corners or their safeties and yellows. And you'll see uh, against this specific coverage, they're really not going to be able to – it's going to make it worse. Um, you're going to get better separation because the route by itself is going to the middle of the field. So they're shading themselves outside of um, contention with this route by doing that. So there's that's with no safety over top. You saw we're able to hit it over the top. And you'll see here again um, with safeties over the top, it's just it's still going to be bad. Um, we're just going to pass it up. That time um, you see that it's staying out of range for Lamar. So that's what I'm talking about. If you have like a, a Dan Marino in mud or a – Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady and regs or even a Mahomes would be perfect for this with Tyreek Hill. Um, you know, any quarterback that can hit the deep ball, um, it's going to work. But as you see here, you're going to be able to get it over the top. One thing you might try out, um, just, just a quick little bonus tip here, is to smart route this route. It's going to make it go a little bit more shallower. It's going to get the route open a little bit quicker um, in case you're getting blitzed and stuff like that. I would only do that if you're on like first and 10 though, but what you'll see here, click on. And you know, for the most part, you're going to be able to get that route. I'm just having a little bit of an issue uh, with Lamar right now. I'll show you the, the, you know, and if again, they're not, I highly, highly doubt they're going to leave their safeties over top like that. Cause if they do, everything else is open. Um, you can run down the middle. You can, you know, there's so many other things you can do, but again, there you see, click on, and I don't know why uh, Adrian Amos is playing that so well. One thing you can do to help that is if you take your fullback and you put him on a wheel route, that's going to help a little bit with that deep blue safety. Like I said, I don't anticipate you having to deal with deep blue safeties a lot uh, because of just the way the game is going to work. It's just really not a good look for the defense to run uh, two deep blue safeties against a pro, pro set. I'm just telling you right now it's not going to work. But for whatever reason, it's able to kind of hang with this. Uh, I'm not sure why the safety is going back. He normally doesn't go back. Um, it might be because we're smart routing the route. So let's try not smart routing the route here. And, of course, the gets throw out a sack. But you see the idea of this. Now, I do want to show you real quick before we um, wrap up. And I'm going to come back to the post route in just a second. I do want to show you this route on the left side. So it's going to get really good separation against man-to-man. -man. You're going to be able to pass lead that over the middle, and it's going to be open as well. So it's a nice cut. It's, nice, um, it's a nice little uh, check down read. And a lot of people like to run cover four against this so let me go out and grab a cover four i want to show you a lot of people like to run three four odd cover four uh against the run play we're going to show you nickel three three five um three three five wide cover four uh just because it's you know it, we don't have the three four odd here but three three five or three three five odd cover four it's all kind of the same um but i do want to show you this this is from ipro and the play is pa wide receiver in so if you take a look here on this um what i want you to do we're going to smart route brown and what you'll see is this route's going to come all the way across the formation. This does take a little bit of time. But against the cover four drop, 
it's gonna it's gonna roast it's gonna roast over the top. Um, palms coverage this is gonna burn. Cover four drop zone. Uh, this is going to burn, especially with the PA. Uh, with the PA on it, it's going to help it out so, so tremendously much. Part of the issue is going to be that uh, Lamar, you have to throw it a little bit earlier. Um, I do want to show you another specific cover four. We'll show it to you after this right here. What you'll see here, there's the cover four. Oh, he's beat him. So now I'm just going to get it out there. And you see he's going to beat him by a good two to three yards. There's just no play for the corner to be able to make. It's going to be a one-play touchdown against cover four. Um and then I want to show you another specific cover four that they might use. Um, this cover four has some matching principles out of it. I want to show you one that doesn't. Uh, so we'll come out nickel three through five normal, and we'll talk about cover four drop. Let's see here. POI receiver in. So again, smart route that route on the right. And this is cover four drop. And what you'll see, you see how they just drop back? Now watch, this is going to get over the top of that deep safety. You see that right there? It's getting over the top of him. Now he didn't get the pick because I threw it a little bit late. But this, this, the in route and the post route combination is called a Portland concept. And this is going to really significantly, I mean, especially with play action, if they bite it all on the play action. But even if they don't, just pass lead it up and over. And you'll see Marquise Brown is going to consistently beat the safety. Now what I would recommend doing on this actually is whenever he gets um, inside of that immediate safety pass lead it up and over now at this point click on and you see you're going to get that consistent over the shoulder catching animation this is from backed off coverage as well if they press coverage it's going to be even worse you're going to see here leave that play action on when a full play action pass lead that to the left don't get hit with throw out a sack um, but you'll see this 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 kills cover four um, it kills it over the top, it kills it over the middle, it kills it in the flat. I mean, it just kills cover four. Cover four can't do anything, and cover four is one of the most popular uh, run defenses that you can you can run against. So you'll see here, very consistent, a uh, little over-shoulder catch. As long as you're clicking onto the receiver and swerve catching him, this is going to be very, very consistent for you. Um, and you'll see right, right here, that's where the money route is right there. If you get a good throw from Lamar, you know, this play is going to torch it. So that's cover four. I did want to talk really briefly about cover two man. Um, again, shake coverage outside, shake coverage over top. You're going to smart route your post route. And what you'll see is right in that pocket, um, he's typically going to he's typically going to get through that middle. The one thing I would say is if you know for a fact that it's cover um, – that is cover two man. What I want you to do is take your um, left side guy and put him on a comeback route. If you know for a fact you're trying to get the cover two man over the top of the two deep blues, you put that outside guy on a comeback route, it's going to create a little bit more of a pocket um, for you to be able to throw it through. You don't want to throw out a sack. Um, throw out a sack might be the worst possible feature they could have put in the game. But we'll show you this. Uh, Real quick, so I'm just going to take Duvernay, put him on that little uh, comeback route. That's going to help kind of take that left side safety out of the play. And you're going to get enough space to be able to throw this up. And for whatever reason, I think I might have been in cover four. Um, for whatever reason, in iPro, they actually do defend this a little bit better when you shade coverage outside over top. But you should be able right here. Watch, see how that safety's pulled? Now you can throw it. And of course, now you can throw it, and I've gotten three consecutive throw out of sack animations thanks to practice mode sheds. I'm just going to spy the defensive lineman uh, real quick. Because because the, here's the deal, guys. You won't get these same sheds in game. You won't. I, I'm telling you right now, you won't. Um, but anyway, smart route that route. I'm going to come back on the left side, and here you'll, you're going to see this will crush the cover two man over the top, as you see right there. So we can, if we can pull that left safety out with an out route or with a comeback route or with a curl route, even it's going to help. It's going to help this this route combination. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to share this with you. I think this is a really really powerful play to run off of some of your running plays because a lot of times the runs are going to cause the user to come into the box, going to cause the safeties to come up. You call this play, and bam, you're going to hit him over the top. One of the best over-the-top passing plays in the game this year, in my opinion. Uh, PA wide receiver is really powerful this year, um, especially with that inverted S route, especially from iPhone Pro, because they're going to have to be coming up, and they're going to have to be getting in the box and, and really taking some of that stuff down. So this is, in my opinion, one of the best plays to, to run off of your running play. This is found in the West Coast Playbook, iPhone Pro. Um, 
But anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, if you have any questions, you can text me. Uh, my number is 812-216-3644. Also, if you haven't already and you really want to take your game to the next level, I want to encourage you to consider picking up one of my personal one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. Coaching, they're available in the description. And what a coaching session basically is, is it is where I sit down with you for about an hour. We go through everything that you want to get better at. I answer any questions you have. And then I share some insight and some ideas of things you can do to help yourself get, in, get better. And from what I've seen, that has been the most effective way to actually help people get better at this game. Because once you sit down with someone, you understand where they're at. Then you understand where they need to go. You can, I can help bridge that gap for you. So if you want to become an elite Madden player, I would encourage you to pick up a coaching session. I promise you it is definitely worth it. I bring my A game to those coaching sessions. I make it well worth your while and uh, just very excited to continue to do that. So if you haven't picked one up, go ahead and pick one up in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on tonight's live stream on YouTube at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.